Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I am going to be doing my birthday shoot. This is gonna be the photo that I post for my birthday, which is on April 1st. I'm doing the shooting myself, I'm doing the editing myself, I'm doing all of it myself, so I thought it'd be really cool to just kind of maybe do a video on this and just kind of like how I take my photos, edit my photos, all of that. Anything that I also mention, I will link everything down below, especially when it comes to like equipment and stuff like that. I booked the studio from 12 to three. I worked till last night though, so I I've just had a very rough start to my morning so it's like one o'clock right now my nose is also just running profusely so i'm going to show you guys all of the things that i'm going to be packing i'm going to pack it and then we're just going to go ahead and head on over to the studio here i just have some of my essentials laid out on the bed so i'm going to be taking all of my photos on my dslr camera i have the eos rebel sl3 the lens that I probably will end up using is this one. This is actually the lens that came with the camera. That is a 50 millimeter lens that I bought separately. I'll get into that later. I'm gonna bring these two lights. This one, it has a lot of really fun colors on it. So I'm just gonna bring this in case I want maybe like a pop of color in there somewhere. This one is just a good old fashioned warm and cool tone light. This one is amazing. I usually use this for all of my selfies and stuff. I take this everywhere. You can either clip it onto stuff, which is cool, or I got this attachment that I'm gonna use this to put it on the top of my camera um, or you can like put it on you know like a back of a phone or something it's got like this little situation on there so this is honestly really great here I've just got my old phone I use this usually as the remote for my camera when I connect it uh, via Bluetooth so that's usually what I use this for my iPad I won't use that while I'm there but that'll be when I'm editing you guys will see that later here is my mini tripod this is the tripod I take everywhere pretty much this is the main one for my phone and then here I just have some backup batteries and all of that for both of my cameras so the one that I'm currently vlogging on right now, I just keep these extra batteries. And then here is the battery for my DSLR, my main tripod. I love her. She's amazing. Uh, this is just my bag. It's basically like a removable camera bag. So I take this and I insert it into other bags, just depending on, you know, what I need for the day. Also, I have this clip. Um, this is just to help the backdrop stay in place when I get there. So that's it in terms of the technical camera equipment situation. Okay, so as you can see, I am here at the studio and I am now setting down this gray backdrop. It's the only one that I felt like went well or complemented the outfit that I have planned. So now I'm gonna just set everything up, tripods, lights, all of that. The studio that I'm using, it's the Black Goose Studios. I'll link it down below if you're interested, but I pay a monthly fee and basically I have access to this space to use it as much as I want or need. All I have to do is just sign up according to their schedule that they have on their website. This is the part that takes what seems like forever. It's just setting everything up. And this is always harder when you're by yourself also because, you know, all of that fun stuff. Here I am changing out the lens. I'm taking out my 50 millimeter and putting in my stock lens. I Just because that one gives me a wider angle than the 50 millimeter, it's a little too zoomed in. Which, fun fact, I ended up using the ones from the 50 millimeter lens anyway. I didn't like that the stock lens wasn't giving me as much depth as I wanted with these photos. So I decided to go ahead and switch it, even though it's more zoomed in than I wanted it to be. I did initially want a full body look, but it wasn't giving. So now I'm just breaking everything down and here I am back at home. So now I'm just gonna put my SD card into my laptop. And this is just the process I use for myself. I like to open everything up all at once and then I scroll through and then usually the ones that I like, I'll right click on it and I'll open it into a new tab just so that it's out of the way. 
So here I am now just airdropping all of these photos to my iPad because I do prefer to edit on my iPad. It's also just another time for me to like look at the photos and kind of break down the ones that I do or don't want to keep. Because even though I picked this many, that's not how many I'm going to post. So here I am just again going through and favoriting everything that I feel like would be part of the post that I want. Just honestly, I just dick around with Lightroom. I just play around with all of the effects and just kind of go with what appeals to my eye. I wanted a little bit of a Y2K look. So it's, you know, giving early 2000s honey. Um, but that's the look I was going for here. Also, if you would like to download this preset, I will link that down below as well. I can create it, you can download it and use this as a filter for your photos if you're vibing with it. So for this post, what I really wanted to do was like a carousel collage. I wanted a seamless carousel on Instagram, but I also wanted me to be a collage. So here I am, I opened this in Photoshop. So basically what I'm doing is like every other photo that I add on here, I'm cutting myself out. So the first one, like you see, I added, I added it there. And in the second photo, I cut out the background so it's just me. And then this third photo, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the background just so that I have a background behind me that's not just the plain white. And in my head, I really wanted this just fill up three um, swipes. So I did the math and had the ratio be perfectly laid out. Here I am, I had an idea in my head and I'm just going with it. And honestly, I'm really vibing with what happened here. I love this look. So now I'm just smoothing out these harsh lines. I just didn't want it to be that harsh and that obvious. So I just saved the photo, re-uploaded it to Photoshop, and now I'm just blurring those harsh lines. There weren't many, so it's not that obvious to the eye anyway, which is fantastic. So now what I'm doing is I am cutting this photo into three parts. Like I said, I wanted it to be three posts in a carousel. So I'm seamlessly cutting it into three different chunks. So that way when I post it on Instagram and you swipe through, it looks like a continuous collage. So now I'm just putting it into a folder just so that I can show you guys because I'm able to switch it around. But this is essentially what the final product is going to look like. I'm so freaking excited to post this on my birthday. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want more details on other stuff, let me know.